common mistakes in measuring length of objects part 1 hello children in the previous video we learned non standard units to measure the length of objects using foot in this video we will see common mistakes while measuring the length of objects that should be avoided today chotu and pinky's mother has brought a new blackboard for them they are both making something with chalk on the blackboard and pinky said to chotu chotu you can't make anything here this is my space no pinky you have plenty of space i will make it here see chotu and pinky arguing their mother comes there chotu pinky why don't you do one thing you take a measure of your space it will tell you if any of you has more space yes mummy it is right but how will we measure mummy do one thing bring that pencil from the table and measure the blackboard chotu gets the pencil from the table chotu first keep the pencil at the starting point and see how many pencils are required to measure okay mummy chotu begins to measure the space with his pencil one pencil two pencils three pencils hey chotu you are doing it wrong why mummy while measuring the entire length has to be measured no part should be missed and you are leaving the space while placing the pencil oh now i get it i will measure it again so here it is one pencil two pencils three pencils four pencils this means i have a total of four pencil long space pinky now it is your turn i have one pencil two pencils three pencils total three pencil long space children do you think pinky has properly measured her space yes you thought right pinky has measured it correctly this means chotu space is more than pinky space come on let me share your space equally mother divided chotu and pinky space equally between them so children did you see what mistake chotu made he left spaces between two pencils while taking measures with the pencil that means chotu did not measure the leftover space so chotu did not measure the entire length we should measure without leaving any blank space while measuring today chotu is measuring the length of the table at his home by his hand 1 2 3 4 mummy this table is 4 hand span long chotu my dear this table is very long how did you measure it can you measure it again and show okay mummy 1 2 3 4 it is done mummy hey chotu don't leave any space while measuring look at me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 did you see chotu this table is 8 hand span long while measuring with my hand now you to measure it Sure, mummy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This table is ten hand span long when I measured it. Now you understood Chotu while measuring objects we should not leave space between two hands 
if we do not measure the entire length or miss any space in between, then the measurement will be wrong. Okay, mummy. This means that whenever a measurement is to be made, there should not be any space left between two measures. You are absolutely right, Chotu. So, children, did you see? You should not leave a space between two hand spans because that measurement might go wrong. So, children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some common mistakes in measuring the length of the objects. In the next video, we will see some more mistakes in measuring the length of the objects that should be avoided. Till then, bye, children.